Hello, Bumpy Mix Quigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of the original Risen. This is episode 30, and I am going to use my bow and arrow to shoot the enemy gnomes. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. And they seem to want to fling <gasps> stuff back at me very, 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 very much. And I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So what I'm going to do instead is now attempt to do combat with the gnomes as they are now less inclined to... Nope, they're still throwing stuff and hitting me actually quite a lot. Alright, and down maybe he goes? There we go, we got one down. There's still three more chucking fish and, and mining pickaxes and all sorts of nasty things at us. Quite effectively, too, I gotta admit, they are very impressive with their throwing abilities. Alright, just gonna back up, try to avoid getting murdered by this guy. Okay, he did his dashing charge thing. Fortunately, I missed my attack twice because I'm awesome. There we go. And nailed it. Oh! Oh, he's, oh, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come the freaking heck on, jeez, man. Alright, chug one more potion and we should have this. I don't know why I keep doing the wrong swing. Oh gosh, now we have the high ground, low ground bull crap. Like I said, the game's combat is not perfect. It's pretty nice most of the time, but there's definitely some things that need to be tweaked, like... The high ground, low ground mechanic, for instance. Definitely something I'm not a huge fan of. Because I cannot actually attack. Oh, 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 what's that? Yeah, that's right. You try to leap at me, you got owned. Alright, so we managed to destroy all but, what, two of them, I think? It said four out of six are dead. So that's another quest that's going to be down. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Like I said, high ground, low ground mechanic, you don't do your normal movement forward, backward, sideways, whatever the case is when you swing when you're on a higher plane or a lower plane so like any uneven ground runs the risk of ruining your uh, your battle plan a little bit there and as you saw I could not land a single attack which made me quite frustrated very flustered and quite sad it, they had to be freaking kidding me I mean that was some bull malarkey at its finest at its fullest but we're going to continue anyway Two gnomes remain, not for long. We're going to make sure that soon zero gnomes will remain. And that's one less, almost. No, no, not quite. I think with that arrow, it should have actually killed him. His buddy is definitely saving his life. All right. Come on. You know you want to. Uh huh. Blocked it! Alright, so, survived all of that horrible awfulness, and it is done. It is sweet, sweet, nice. It's over. We put one down with a bow and arrow, which is kind of impressive considering we're not really a hunter or have any hunting abilities or skills or anything of that nature, so it's, it's kind of cool. We make do with the equipment and the stuff that we have available to us, I suppose. Alright, there's a fire, and that's it, huh? Alright. Let's see, is it right? Nope. Oh, that left, wasn't it. Left, left, right, right? Gotta start nope. again. Left, right. Damn. Left, right, left, right. Yes. Jeez. It just doesn't seem to want to accept my commands early on. Which is okay, I suppose. Alright, so alchemy, I think, is going to be my next choice of things to do. Along with maybe some more axe, axe skill, because I seem to be lacking a little bit in that regard. Not horribly so, but enough that it's somewhat problematic. Oh, there's some wolves. Fantastic. Alright, we're going to do a quick save. There's one looking right at me here. Oh, oh that's right, we can't parry... Ah! Ah! Can't parry animals. Ah! Ha! He is making himself known ah. that he does not like me. Ah! Yeah! 
Huh? There we go. Bathroom yeah, two. All right. It's one, two. We're gonna loot this. There's at least one more. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh. It wasn't even close a lot. Guess what? You just got wrecked. That's right. Completely crushed, owned, destroyed, decimated. I'd say decapitated, but I mean, I'm sure his head is still intact. I don't think I quite removed that. Look at that, we have a higher up view of what we did down below. It's kind of impressive. And we are heading toward the monastery as I speak to you guys, as I live and breathe. We're heading that way. I'm hoping that we get to a point where we can actually heal up and do various good things as opposed to being on the brink of death. Sorry guys, I'm readjusting myself slightly here in my chair. And yeah. Yeah, things are looking interesting, to say the least. Uh, alchemy would be really, really cool right now. Hmm. There's quite a bit of stuff here. I vaguely remember there being some special things. Do we have a levitation spell? Is that what it was I needed? Or did I need to jump this? Well, we're going to try jumping it for now. No, oh, it wasn't quite jump. Oh, oh, we caught ourselves on a ledge. Alright, a rusted two-handed sword. Super important for our advancement further into the game. Uh, I guess I took a very unnecessary risk. However, there is gold and a pickaxe and some actual gold coins. Apparently the guy not only mined some gold back in the day, who was here before, but he minted himself a few coins and left them this here what for anyone else who came to actually mine his gold. So that's it's kind of nice of him. That's a pretty good. It's a pretty good deal, I gotta say. All right, everybody's favorite, the sting rats of ah! annoying death and uh, hatred. Yeah. Ha! Okay. Well, for once, they didn't actually murder my soul. I like that. Basic chest, which means it's fat treasure loots, and. Hmm, some bread and various random things that I don't really care too too much about. Oh, there's a green leaf here. Um, some moths floating around doing floaty moth-like things. I see another sting rat. Ooh, a druid's hemlock. A very good one. Oh, and there's something over there. So, again, I'm going to abuse the quick saves, guys, because I don't want to have to backtrack if I can help it. I'll leave in my silly mistakes and foolish moves that I do make. You guys have seen me do this a few hundred times already. One down. Two down. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Alright. Sweet, sweet, nice. We're going to grab up some herbage, some plants as it were. And we're going to desecrate this, Another tomb. this tomb area, this cemetery, if you will. And steal many, many objects from the different boxes and chests and barrels and crates and shrines and whatever else is here because that's just how we roll so there's a mushroom there some rum fine a small shield a rusty sword some more grog I guess and yeah some mushroom there um, sure I'm assuming there's gonna be a place to dig here somewhere Though I don't know where specifically. So please keep that in mind, guys. Generally speaking. A grave. Rest in peace. There's like Another one. Another grave. Yeah. We all go back to the earth. Stop talking for a second, guy. Generally speaking, there's usually one grave that you're supposed to dig up some treasure loot at each cemetery that I. if I recall correctly. So. Apparently I'm not recalling correctly because I seem to only have the one. Oh gosh. He's so cute when he's not eating my face. I hate these things so much. There we go. He's like a squirrel with really bad hair. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call that. Alright, we'll check one of the potions that we've obtained, we've ascertained, we've gathered, we've gained. Whatever word phrasing you'd want to use. Once again, quick save. We're going to go try to murder this bird. Sea vulture does not like us. It's fine. It doesn't have to like us. Oh, there's some gnomes. Oh, we hear 
the tolling of a bell. At least I think I did. Maybe I'm going crazy in my mind. I don't know. It's all well and good. It's all gravy. All right, to the gnome. Gnome. So apparently there's more than one. There's a sly gnome. Ow. And apparently there's three, and the third one hit me with something horrible. Oh. Oh, he did a, du he did a double move. Okay. All right. Brin's dangerous monsters. Woohoo! All right. Success. Some hunting knife action. Where was your weapon? A rusty sword? You shouldn't hit me with that, man. You give me tetanus. I don't want that. I don't want to get all locked jawed up and stuff. What in the world are you doing to me, guys? All right. Ooh, a shiny ring of extra mana, which doesn't really do me a lot of good at this point, but eh. Get a club and loot its tooth and other various things. Ooh, there's like a little encampment down there guarded by three birds. That does seem to be like a valuable... That's like a value point here. We, we should go down here and, and totally look this up. Oh, oh, for a minute there I thought we broke the game again. Apparently not. Okay, so that's an ogre root. That kind of looked like a weird person sitting there for a little bit. I was like, I don't know about this. Oh, in the bed finally. We can actually rest up. Left? Nope. It. So is it right? Right, left, left? What? Huh? Yeah, look at that. Learning stuff. Still don't have any potatoes. We got some arrows, though. A couple joke spells. I don't think the birds are going to mess with us. They're afraid of fire, so we're going to rest till morning. That way we are fully healed and ready to murder anything that comes across us. Or comes our way, or we even randomly happen to see in the daylight. Ah! Not a big fan of how this is playing out. I, I also am not a big fan of getting stuck in a corner, so we're going to move. And that was kind of the biggest issue we were having there. Really? You can fly that far. I find that to be a little hard to believe. Okay. In the end, it didn't really matter. You just got, you just got completely destroyed. Your soul is now mine. That's right. I didn't just kill you. I took your soul. How does that make you feel? Probably pretty messed up. I, I know, I would feel the same way if I had my soul stolen by somebody who killed me. But, thankfully, I'm not dead, and my soul is still intact. Oh yeah, another war cricket, because those things are super fun to fight. So, let's fight it, shall we? Hopefully you're by yourself. Let's play a game of catch before I kill you. How'd that feel, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good, right? You enjoyed that? No? Wanna enjoy it some more? No? Okay, well I suppose I should probably figure out how to oh figure out how to deal with you. Oh, oh, get destroyed. Oh, nope. nope. And boom. Whoop. And we've leveled up from that. Which again doesn't really mean much, but eh, that's something. It's there. I guess it's some sort of validation that we've been doing stuff. All this hard work, all this this roughing it out in the woods and the wilderness. Because there's a little tiny bit of validation, like it's like, hey, you know what? Good job, man. Here. You gained a token level, which does literally nothing for you. Well, it gives you again, it gives you the learning points. So technically if you have the money, the cash, the squilla. You know, Here's some more. You can do something with it, but. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really care about this place. Alright, let's go see what's inside the cave, even though this is not where I was planning on going. I got distracted by shinies and, and treasure loot, so. Uh, you know how treasure loot is on, on me. It's like, ooh, treasure loot! And then I just get totally sidetracked, distracted completely, ADD kicks in, it's awful. So we're looking at a club and arrow. A better healing potion, ooh, a small ruby, and some other various stuff. Huh. That's not so bad. That is not so bad. What is in here? Oh gosh, a whole bunch of gnomes right at the doorway. Alright, gnomes. 
You want to do battle? Why don't you throw stuff at me? Eight gnomes. One down. Two down. What? Get completely annihilated. Get annihilated. Cool. So I beat them up, stole their their clubs, their carrots, and their gold coins. Lunch money is mine. So let's see what's inside of the gnome temple. I'm sure something terrible is actually in here. The gnomes just kind of delayed it slightly for a little while anyway. Um hmm. That looks like a trap of some sort. Yeah, I, I leapt over it. Didn't seem to matter. And I guess I died to that? Sure. We'll go right back in on the autosave. I figured it was some sort of trap. I apparently was 100% correct in my thinking. And indeed it was. Oh, I gotta fight the stupid gnomes again. Really? Oh, now they're gonna actually wreck me. They're just gonna completely annihilate me. So, no matter how amazing I did at the first outset of this, the gnomes are like, you know what? You've had a way too easy run against us, so we are going to destroy your soul, crush your spirit, and you're not gonna get both carrots this time. Only one. You got the stick instead. Alright. So the plummeting thing didn't work super well. This is definitely a spike trap here that we managed to clear. I don't really know how this helps us necessarily. Or do I? I think I have a Nautilus spell left. I do. I am pretty sure I can Nautilus myself this way. Yeah, look at that. Using the Nautilus spell like I know what I'm doing. I don't, but... It's like I know what I'm doing. Alright. And I'm gonna trigger the lever here. Which is going to open this door. Which is gonna be like, and I was like, holy crap, how did you get in here? Yeah. That's right. Murder me once, shame on me. Murder me twice, shame on you. Okay, there's a heavy chest. Yeah, the gnome was clearly looking in here like, what's going on? Oh, some money, some pearls, all sorts of stuff. We should be rocking some pretty decent chunk of cash when we get out of this place. Um, I imagine we probably did not disable anything. I would imagine there's more to the place than just these two spots, but you never know. Well, maybe we did disable the traps. I have no idea, but I'm getting out of here either way. It is time to go up to the mage's gallery or the mage's temple or monastery or whatever in the world it's called and see what's what. We can do more exploration of this later. Well, I guess we've done all this. Let's kill the mobs and then call it a... Call it a win. I'll call it a, an overall complete and total domination and win. And there's some bones out in the middle of the water, so totally ah. take a look at that. Ha. Okay, your little double butt thrust ha. did not ha. hit me. Ah. It did that time though. Ah. I hate these things ha. so much. Ah. They're so deceptive. Ah. Oh my gosh, ha. I cannot time the distance on these guys. Like the first guy, perfect. Done beautifully. Made it look easy. Second guy just could not get the right distance. I missed like four times. It was pretty bad. If I was into the hole, that could have been an embarrassing situation. That would have been embarrassing. But since I don't I don't buy into that, it was okay. It was fine. Alright. There's what two two mothers left? I think we've got it. I think we got this on lockdown, fools. Let's do it, huh? Let's do it. Alright. The moth's like, ha! no! Ha! Ah! Nope. Ha! Oh, you did a triple butt thrust. Ha! 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 
<laughs> Please stop hitting me with your bull crappery. One down. Double butt thrust this. Alright, thorax. Thrashing. Alright, so down they go. That's pretty much cleared out this whole area, unless it spawns some sort of horrible, evil monster that wants to murder me. I think we're good. I'm standing on this. I don't see anything. I figured there'd be something with the bones, but apparently I was wrong. However, there's a lot of weed laying around, and we can sell weed for money, because apparently this game condones drug dealing. Yep, it does. But I guess, well, we're selling it to the supplier. I mean, that's kind of a different twist. Normally you sell it to buyers and you get the weed and you buy it yourself. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know the whole weed hierarchy, but it just seems like it's a little backwards in this game. It's fine. Alright, up to Mount Doom here we go. And we will get into another place that we will be locked into. And it's going to be unfortunate and sad, but it simply is going to be what it is. I don't know if we actually get locked into it or not. Now, I did remember that when I originally came here, I found a back way into the place, and I did all sorts of stuff I wasn't supposed to be able to do. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to save, and I don't recall what happens. Hey, Bryn. What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Watching the road for creatures, and probably providing a free meal for any hungry beasties that come wandering by. That just sounds bad for you, man. Why don't you just run for it? Once you've listened to those noises in the shadows, you'll be glad of a secure place to sleep. It's no fun in there, but it's no fun out here either. Even if I did make it back to Harbour Town, the Inquisition would just bring me right back here again. Not many places to hide on an island. I don't really have a lot of options. That is a good point. I've dealt with your monsters. You have nothing to fear from the shadows anymore. Really? Those horrible things? You faced them? Yeah, I did. Yeah. They were... gnomes. Gnomes? Are you sure? They, they sounded a lot bigger. Well, there were a few of them. Listen, don't tell anyone about this. <laughs> the boys will never let me hear the end of it. It'll be gnome heads in my bed for weeks. It's kind of funny. Sure. I won't say a thing. Thanks. You're a pal. Yeah, I am. Give me money. Alright, could pickpocket him. Meh. Yeah, so somehow over this way you can like jump up on the walls and the trees and stuff enough. I was trying to get to these crystals because they look amazing and I wanted to eat them. They look like rock candy. And somehow I found a way over the wall and into the place before you, I ever was supposed to come up here in my first playthrough. So I like cleared out. I did a whole bunch of stuff I wasn't supposed to be able to do or supposed to do at all probably. And then when I came here I'm like, well, I already know the layout of this place. I've already done a lot of this stuff. Let's see what happens. Ah. Another willing recruit to go into the Inquisition service. Uh, nope. I'm here to speak to the Inquisitor. Of course you are. And why should Inquisitor Mendoza, the leader of the Order of the Holy Flame, want to talk to a nobody like you? I have stubble. Oh, wait, uh, sorry. I have a message from Don Esteban. That's what you say. Maybe you're here to kill the Inquisitor. Could do that too. Do you really think a nobody like me could kill the Inquisitor. I think a nobody like you could be stupid enough to try. You'd better be from the Don, or the Inquisitor will introduce you to the Holy Flame. And I mean, introduce you to it really close. That is so incredibly menacing. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine, guys. Alright, so we are now inside the monastery. And yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm going to talk to this dude. Another recruit. Apparently. The guards brought you here because you transgressed the law. Am I correct? No. I have a message from Don Esteban. Then I shall take it to the Inquisitor. I must talk to him myself. I see. During your time here, you may move freely around the monastery. This is a privilege. Please do not abuse it. Inquisitor Mendoza is in the Holy Hall. Where is the Holy Hall? I shall provide a map. We don't want you getting lost, do we? When I wish to, how do I leave? You do not leave. At least not yet. You cannot keep me here. Take your message to Mendoza. That is why you entered here, is it not? 
Do that, then we shall discuss whether you may leave. Or... I can discuss it right now with my fists. That which you may blame only yourself. That didn't work very well. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. It's times like that you kind of wish you could do stuff, you know, and get away with it, but... <laughs> it's a little funny. Let's see, we should be able to look on the book stands and stuff without getting like, into a lot of trouble. About magic. Some additional wisdom and other various things. He doesn't seem to be paying attention to me, so I should be able to steal from him. That wasn't Should it. be able to steal from him and give to myself. Then. If you know what I mean. Oh yeah, we're totally abusing our privilege here, aren't we? Oh, what's up, buddy? I'm just just walking around, just digging life. What's up, Taylor? What's going on, buddy? Um, I think it's about time for us to close out the episode. I think we've done enough. This text is about magic spells. Got beat up some, killed a war cricket, killed a bunch of gnomes, did a whole bunch of stuff, guys. It's fine. We're here in a new town where the storyline shall start advancing once again, so... What was it, what, three, three or four episodes of me wandering around just doing some various stuff, having some free roam fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and you will enjoy the storyline advancing a little bit more in the upcoming episodes. So we get to wander around and pillage the monastery in the next episode or two. And after that, who knows? Who knows where we're going to go from there. Either way, that's going to do it for this episode. I will catch you guys next time with more Risen. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.